SBR Pinky is a registered 12-year-old saddlebred mare that Bruce bought for us through a sale. When she first came in, she was very nervous and afraid of things. And we didn't know whether that was because of blinker shock, where she'd been used to, you know, using a blinker while driving on the road, or whether she was just fearful. So we gave her quite a bit of time to just kind of chill out and learn the arena. And we were rewarded very highly. This mare is not an overly big mare, probably uh, 15 three hands. Um, she has been gated in the past. And when we first started working her, she still had on her driving shoes, which have borium on the bottom, and are a little heavier, and she had a longer foot. Since then, we've had her reset, and she's got a regular plate on. And she can get a little racky if you get your hands kind of shuffling and shaking her head a little bit. She has really come a long way and has relaxed and isn't afraid of stuff in the arena. She is learning to carry her head up without sticking her nose straight out, which is a big deal after they've been checked up and driven on the road. She does do three gates, which you'll see later, and she's very cute. I think with a little more shoe on her, not a package like a um, we like wedges and uh, pads, I think just a little heavier shoe will help her trot easier and be more comfortable. We are working her to shift her weight and drive off the back end and not pull herself with the front end. And she's stopped spooking at things. She's very comfortable. She uh, likes people. In fact, I was told by this volunteer that she will call to her now when she goes by her stall or if she's outside and um, D goes and talks to her to get another horse, that Pinky will call to her and um, want her to come over and see Pinky. We named her Pinky because I was quite frankly, running out of names, and she had a pink halter on, which she's very feminine looking, so that was uh, pretty <laughs> a pretty good choice for her. So I just named her Pinky because I kept telling um, the guys, go get the horse with the pink halter. She's learned uh, pretty much everything we've asked her to do. I, obviously, she was taught this before. Somebody put some time into her, taught her to canter, I don't think she's super great at racking, so we haven't worked her that way at all. She is happiest with a rider that has good hands at this point. So otherwise she'll get a little mixy gated. She has a good natural flat walk. And the only thing we do when, when uh, D gets on her is she will walk her quite a bit corner to corner, get her guiding and listening to D, and not just let her wander all over every place. And that, if you warm up that way, she's much more relaxed about going. She's not overly nervous, but she does worry about things. Now you can see here she's going a little small, a little too slow. She's kind of wanting to can her. So I had asked Dee to step her up. And there you can see, trying to get her to raise up and drive off that back end. These horses are not on any supplements. No butte, no banamine no tranquilizers they're just all natural she's been here a couple months she came in a little bit before that big group of six so i'm not really sure what date i don't have it handy but she's been here a couple months and she's actually been no problem she will let you clip her but she's not real comfortable with you clipping her nose i'm sure somebody's twitched her a lot and dee's been working on that to make sure that she uh is getting a little more relaxed about the clippers. We don't like to, when we clip these horses, we don't like to grab an ear or twitch them or do anything because it kind of makes them feel like maybe it's hurtful to be clipped when it's not. She took a nice canter cue. Now she will, if your rider kind of lose timing on her and work their hand, she'll occasionally swap leads. And you're going to see this when she gets down to the end. There, Dee's pretty with her, and then she, Dee kind of gets to pumping a little bit right there, and she's working her, and then the mare sw swapped right there, kind of in that corner. And so all we do is stop them 
quietly, kindly. We don't get mad at them. They made a mistake. They're not criminal. And there she turned her again, and she took her lead. This mare, coll uh, Canner's collected, so either she's pretty natural at this, or somebody spent quite a bit of time working with her. And we're really happy with her. I think she'd fit into a lesson program, be a great practice horse. She She's not something you can put in a beginner or some a big, huge lesson program at this point. But she, I think she'd be best if somebody wanted kind of a showy horse to maybe take to smaller shows and show her a rider at home. Now, I don't know if she wears a full bridle because we haven't tried her yet. But she does everything else very well. She's happy with D as a rider. So I think if somebody got her and they just spent time with her and had not too many people ride her, she'd be the happiest. And see, she got her lead, so she's not funny about any lead. She is a little crooked, which all horses are. Dee's raising her up, trying to get her to get back on that back end. And she is, and collecting up very nicely. Her canter, I think, will get a little smoother. It's a little hoppy at times, you can see, but I'm hoping that uh, as she relaxes, it'll be more round and less hoppy. And this mare doesn't mind if you ride around other horses or if they're a cart in the ring or anything like that. She's pretty good about um, just riding uh, is, and trusting the rider. She's a horse that will learn to trust a rider and will be best suited for a rider that kind of rides that way. If you're interested in this mare, you can contact Saddlebred Rescue either on the phone number 908 605 6032 and be sure and leave a message don't just hang up it goes to our emails so contact saddlebred rescue if you want more information on this mare